Hi and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're taking this Iberia A314 business class from London to Madrid. This is a long haul aircraft but Iberia do operate on this route around once a day. So we just checked in, there was no queue straight away, through fast track security and our plane was part of the BLC gate so we're going to use the B, like, B gate lounge today uh, which is supposed to be quite nice compared to the north and south lounges so we'll soon find out. Iberia use the British Airways lounges for this flight. Access is if you have a business class ticket or the relevant one world status. We haven't reviewed the lounge in this video because we will be reviewing it in a video in October where we fly to Singapore with British Airways. We have however reviewed the Iberia lounge in Madrid which is the lounge used when taking this A340 from Madrid to London. So we've just been to the lounge and now we're going to board the plane. The business class cabin on the Iberia A340 is arranged in a 1 2 1 configuration. All seats come with direct aisle access and convert into fully flat beds. My seat on today's flight is 11H. This is one of the single row of seats that is next to the window. My seat in particular is next to the window, but the row alternates. So, for example, the seat behind me is actually close to the aisle with storage space between the seat and the window. Let me show you around the seat on this Iberia A340. Directly in front of the seat is space where you can rest your feet and directly under this is an empty space where you can store shoes. The tray table is located to the left hand side of the seat by the aisle. You pull it towards you and then push it down. Once the tray table is uh, down you can't move it forward or backwards and you do have to store it back in order to get out the seat with ease. On the side of the seat is a panel for controlling the seat. This button here moves the seat more horizontally. This vibrates the back of the seat like a massage function. And these other buttons are for adjusting the lumbar support on the seat. And these buttons here can directly put it in bed mode, take off mode and recline. There's two more buttons to do the reading light and a call bell. On the side of the seat is this remote control. It pops out and is used to control the in-flight entertainment screen. You can simply navigate through the menus and choose what you want. When watching something, it also changes into a more handy display where you can simply control the volume and brightness etc, which is quite a useful feature. Additional storage space can be found on the left hand side of the seat. There's plenty of space for your drink and then two small storage compartments which you can fit like a camera in and your phone for example. Uh, and that's where you'll also find the headphones when boarding. And then finally there is a small reading light. Each seat also has an adjust alarm rest which you just push in the button to bring it up and push it in again if you want to have it down. Underneath the armrest area is where you can find your USB and sort of other plugs for charging devices. The in-flight entertainment screen is fixed in position and next to it is a small hook to hang say a coat on. Headphones were already in our seat when we boarded and the in-flight entertainment was already switched on so you can watch it from gate to gate which is a really nice touch on this shorter European flight. As mentioned early on, all seats in the Iberia A340 business class cabin are fully flat beds as Jordan is demonstrating here. I also thought the leg room was ample especially for the seats that are located next to the window. Shortly after takeoff, the crew came round and handed out menus. The food service and drink service and the crew on board were great, but the food honestly leaves a lot to be desired. To be fair to Iberia, this is not the food offering you would receive in a long haul flight, but it is miles off what you receive on British Airways Club Europe flights.
so today our second part of our video was supposed to be a little review of the British Airways 777 map. However, today is the 9th of September, which is the day of BA strikes. So instead we are rebooked and we're taking the same Iberia A340 flight back. Uh, so we'll just have a quick review on the end of the Iberia Lounge and we'll show you the food if it's any different on the way back. Iberia have a lounge in both Terminal 4 and in the Satellite Terminal 4. The lounge in the Satellite Terminal 4 is uh, much nicer and is the one you can use for the A340 flights. I've used this lounge a couple of times and I'm a fan of this lounge, mostly because it's really sort of like nice and light inside, there's lots of space, it's just a, I really like the atmosphere in there. Food wise, uh, there was a nice breakfast spread when we got there, the, the omelet, Spanish omelette was really good. Um, and as we left they switched it over for more lunch items which you'll be able to see a little video of in a minute. Um, there's plenty of drinks on offer, there's like a kids player with some xboxes, there's showers in the lounge, there's like quiet areas where you can have more of a lie down. Um, compared to the, the British Airways Galleries lounge, uh, I much prefer this Siberia lounge. And finally, this is the menu we received on our return flight from Madrid to London Heathrow. Again, the food was rather disappointing. Actually, we are uh, glad we ate in the lounge because we pretty much avoided eating this. So if I had to summarise our flight overall, I would say the seats on the A340 in business class are really good. The food in the short haul business class is not very good. And the Iberia Lounge in Madrid is a really nice lounge.